I have a 2017 Chrysler Pacifica minivan. A minivan. Turn up the bacon. I don't know why I'm doing this review, but it seemed like a funny thing to do. Um, I've been doing a lot of a lot of travel lately for the company I work for, and they've been putting me in a lot of rental vehicles, and I decided why not start documenting this? So this is going to be my rental car reviews. Now I'm not going to be rent, uh, reviewing specifically the rental car company, but instead the actual vehicle that I end up getting from them. In this case, I have a 2017 Chrysler Pacifica minivan. A minivan. This minivan is actually pretty cool. You see, I've never actually, I, I, don't, I don't have a lot of resources to go out and buy super luxury vehicles. But as far as luxury vehicles go, this is probably the closest I've ever really been to one of these been in one except for maybe when I was in high school and I went to prom in a, in a limo right so no big deal but this one is pretty cool it has of course a key fob it's all keyless there's no physical well there is a physical key I detached it from this because as you know the rental cars you have to have the all the they they tie all the keys together with cables but this one's nice because I've never had a car that had remote start and there it is so now it's really cold outside it's where I'm wearing my Star Trek jacket here it's about 45 degrees out so I guess that's not really cold but it's cold enough but it's gonna start warming it up in there and uh, and so there you go all right you can't see it right now but what I'm about to tell you is that this car is on with the remote start that I did a moment ago but it doesn't actually start so you hold down the brake and press the start button and then you can see the dash it's very happy with that now i'm driven this a few hundred miles and as you can see right there i've been averaging about 25 to 26 miles per gallon and that's not too bad you can tell it's a rental because of the no smoking stickers in various locations this one the entire controls all the controls here are a touch screen which is really nice including climate um, if I wanted to warm up my seat it's right here high low off everything's great the whole thing works really well it's very very easy to figure out the thing that really got me which is strange is this is the gear shift well th this is the shifter or whatever you want to call it there's no stick over here to put in the drive or whatever it's all it just you hold down the brake and you turn the knob now I'm in reverse see there's my backup camera you know neutral drive now, of course the uh, the climate control is very handy you know just uh, temperature up and down and you can actually see it going up right here on the driver's side and then down on the driver's side sorry about the shakiness of the can I don't have any way to stabilize this but then this side you know, over here is the passenger side you can see the numbers on the screen when I when I say it now there's also the option if I go to climb it I can choose to control the rear seats which is all touchscreen right here but there's also a place to control it from the back which I will get to in a few moments I know it's hard to see but up here on the rear view mirror there is actually a 911 button right here and an assist button right here which I assume is something similar to OnStar it's kind of nice this does have a 3G connection I've noticed as it shows right there 3G apps which is kind of neat so yeah it has full navigation you can view the map you can uh, you know pull up emergency services near you and uh, it also has full satellite radio which most modern vehicles do so that's not really a surprise um, being that this is a van um, I'm sure there's times where you might need to look at maybe the kids in the back it has a little uh, concave mirror hello everyone we'll just close that up here and of course a uh, normal standard place for glasses and then a place here where you can open and close the side doors as well as the trunk and of course the visors it's a standard visor there's a mirror hello look it's me I'm all blurry because it's focused on the mirror that's fine and for some reason there's a little paperclip symbol I don't know what that means no idea if you know what it means let me know in the comments the controls on the steering wheel 
are pretty basic. You have controls that from here actually control the menu up on the mini screen there. So I can go through the different options. There's also settings. I like to see the fuel economy. That's my favorite. You can program and pair, of course, a Bluetooth phone. Um, that's pretty standard on most vehicles nowadays. And of course, your cruise control settings. Apparently there's something that the rental company did not purchase, which is what these magical, who knows what buttons are for. But right now, on this one, they serve no purpose. The horn is standard horn, nothing fancy. But here's something weird. There are actually controls on the back of the steering wheel. You can't see it all that well, but right here, there's an up, down, there's an up and down and center button on here and there's one on the other side too which because of the angle I cannot show you sorry again about the movement but that controls different functions for instance it'll scroll through the radio settings the controls the apps the climate and the ones on the right side behind here make the volume go up and down um, or we'll switch to AM FM satellite and then auxiliary which of course in this particular one we have USB if you want to sync your USB device and the auxiliary input, which is nice. There's, you know, some little uh, slots here for whatever. There's a big drawer right here, which is actually what I'm keeping all my travel paperwork in. And there's the, um, the charging ports down here with the cigarette lighter adapter and another USB port, I guess, for charging. There are no openable devices or areas on this center console that I could find at all and that's that's really it's okay and but there is a section this actually goes through all the way so you can put like an umbrella down there which you know I could actually do that now I suppose I did have to bring my umbrella since it was raining the other day you see whoop, there it goes push it right on through uh, from behind there these quarters came standard I just lied about that those are my quarters and as standard on those vans nowadays, you simply press a button and the door opens. This is nice. Now these particular seats, in, well the seats in this particular model, 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 model are all leather seats. I'm not a professional car person, so I can't tell you anything about, you know, if this is a good quality for a, for a car nowadays or not. Uh, it looks like whoever uses last used this, the seatbelt weird and got it all latched up strange. But either way, there's three seats in the back. The middle one is questionable. It looks pretty tiny. Uh, two, you know, captain seats for the center. And of course, the, the two for the driver's side. Or the, not the driver's, the two for the front. If you have two driver's seats, that's a problem. Uh, there's my backpack and my, uh, my tripod bag. Now, if you look up on the passenger side way up here you have the climate control for the back seat this is now it can be locked from the front let me there we go it's better but it can be controlled here as well and uh, that is fully lit up you can probably tell by the the uh, the vibration of the the light settings and the, uh, the back seat really they have nothing special too much you know there's cup holders and there's the every single window back here by the way has these sun filters I'll show you here this simply raises up and it attaches like so pretty easy another interesting thing to show you is that the fuel is specifically has no cap on it and as you look it says capless it's designed to not have a fuel cap so nope there's not one missing it just doesn't have one isn't that weird the trunk's pretty spacious i gotta say it's pretty large now i'm used to my suv which has probably a little bit less trunk space unless you roll, lay down the seats although these seats do lay down they actually fold up into this area and while it's hard to tell let me put my leg in here it goes all the way well almost to my knee it's a pretty large chunk area there is an auxiliary um, well there is a power port in the cigarette lighter style for this and of course when you're done you can just press this button here and then stand back and it actually has a sensor on it and it wouldn't close until I got out of the way 
Another feature which you probably won't be able to tell, hi camera, there's a little triangle right here. And that is actually a light. I know it's standard in a lot of new vehicles, but that will light up if the vehicle detects that there's another car when you're driving in your blind spot. So if I look to my right, because this is the, light, the right mirror, and I don't see a car there, but there's one in the blind spot, that little triangle lights up to let me know that there's a car there. It's very handy. Okay, as far as the lights go, it's hard to tell. I just popped the hood so it looks a little bit open. Don't worry about that. But this is a ring of lights, or a, a row of lights. The row of lights lights up whenever the headlights are on. And because some of you just have to know, this is what it looks like underneath here. Apparently it's a 3.6 liter engine. Engine. I did not know that before I actually saw it. <laughs> and that's it. That's what it looks like inside. So overall, I definitely enjoy it. I've, I've enjoyed riding it. I got I had to drive in the rain and uh, it was a really heavy rain. It was uh, two nights ago. I was trying to go home when I actually got this thing. And uh, it's just been absolutely uh, a pleasure to drive this. It's it's weird. So, uh, you know, all the little features that are in there, you know, I don't I don't get sponsored for any of this. This is just something I just decided this would be fun to do. So I don't want you to think that Chrysler is trying to, to nudge me saying, hey, hey, get, do a review on our van. I had no reason to do that. I just had a great experience with this minivan. So there you go. Turn up the bacon and I'll see you next time.